This single offshore wind farm can generate up to 8 megawatts, three times more than onshore wind farms. That is enough to power up to 1,500 average households in America. It is estimated that the global offshore wind energy market will skyrocket to $90 billion in revenue by 2030. Offshore wind farms are one of the most important and genius advancements in recent history. The reason for it is really simple. On lakes, seas, and oceans, the wind blows much stronger, making turbines spin faster and generating more power than their land-based counterparts. But in order for these windmills to work, they require more advanced cables that capture and transfer the energy. These are subsea cables, well insulated and far more durable than other types of cables used on land. They're made to be as complex as possible because they are placed into the same extreme, harsh and corrosive environments where regular cables wouldn't have a chance at surviving long enough. These threats can be anything, like earthquakes or most of all sea mines, which are harder to detect and destroy, not without a drone that is. The process of making such cables is tedious. Companies usually start with making a series of thick wires, later feeding them to the machine that wraps them up in a protective coating, insulating them to maximize their lifespan. However, making them isn't as hard as installing miles of these cables under the sea. It is one challenging task to do, especially when they're so big and heavy. That's why companies are creating solutions to install them as efficiently as possible. One of these companies, Boscula Subsea, came up with this engineering marvel a full-size cable-laying ship with a number of powerful features that help to complete the challenge. Its flat hull design grants stability to the ship and allows it to operate near the shore and out in the middle of the sea without risks. There are three of these vessels, and each one of them has this massive round mechanism called a turntable, able to hold 5,000 tons of cable. It rotates cables and guides them into the water using a special tensioner. This tensioner ensures that the cable is laid on the sea floor at the same speed as the ship is moving on a predetermined route, connecting cables between wind turbines. Once the ship completes installation, it moves to the second point where the cable is then cut to the proper length and guided through a cable protection system. The quadrant is used to control the cable's excess length, preventing it from overbending and snapping. When the second point is done, the vessel then places export cables that connect the offshore wind farm to one of the shore grids. However, these cables have a special requirement. They need to be buried under the soil to ensure their safety. Depending on the soil type, the transformer may be used to dig out a trench where the cable takes place with the help of a plow pulled ashore by a winch. These kind of inventions are what the world needs. They can work as efficiently as possible without the need to risk human lives for such dangerous jobs.